Hey guys, Matt here. So Jivo's got some pretty big news next week and that is reporting earnings. Now, normally when I do these pre-earnings videos, I usually say the whole, oh, the only thing I want to see from Jivo is that it's not can it's not canceling anything or delaying everything and that the, the financial results don't matter or blah, blah, blah. That's coming to an end this quarter. And the reason I'm saying that is because now I've reported on this before, but Jivo will begin recognizing their revenue for RNG sales in this quarter. Now, this is something that uh, I, I've stated on previously that the money that Jivo starts is going to bring in, like the good stuff is supposed to start late this year and really get going in 2023. And then the big money comes in early 2025. So this is the quarter where revenue is actually supposed to start, where Jivo is, is going to stop being a quote unquote Free revenue company. Now, one thing we need to know is that their initial revenue is expected to be limited to the value of the commodity, exclusive of environmental credits, and rep will represent a partial quarter. Won't be, the, won't even be the whole third quarter. Now, analysts have Jivo coming in as as an average. Now, there are only four analysts, but hey, it's a small company. They're only going to get four analysts. One point two two million. Now, if we go over here. 16 to 22 million per year starting in 2023. Now, I don't know how much the initial revenue and the, the, the limited revenue is going to be. I don't know. They didn't really give a dollar amount. I'm hoping it'll be 1.22 mil. It sounds fair. I mean, we'll see if we get that. I mean, I just want to see them get some size, something more than 270K. Get above 270K and it's a start. This will be the first time Jibo has reported some sizable revenue of any significance in a long time so i really hope this one's good now if it's not well uh, sell out absolutely not now one thing now this isn't gospel or anything like that but every time you see the analysts um revise upwards the the eps it's usually a good sign but we'll see what happens tuesday now one thing i do want to point out is that one thing that these analysts have done in the previous orders has they've been uh, averaging, averaging their estimates high, right? So that Jivo can miss it so that the stock will fall. I hope that's not the case this time, but it's something I've seen analysts done. Now, in their defense, the analyst defense, I mean, Jivo hasn't really reported any kind of hard number guidance. Yeah, they did say the whole, where am I at? They did say the whole 16 to 22 million starting in 2023, but I mean, what's the guidance for this year? I mean, they should have some idea by now. What's the dollar, what's the dollar amount? And if Jiva doesn't provide any, well, they're gonna they're gonna, I mean, they're gonna make up their own numbers. Another good sign. Now, this in no way, I mean, determines what's gonna happen next week. Uh, another good sign is shares shorted. It went down from fifty two point six million to forty seven point seven million uh, as of October the fourteenth. Now, that's still pretty high. It's still twenty two point nine percent shorted, but it's getting better and better. So institutions are very slowly coming over the Jivo side, but I mean, Jivo has to put up the numbers. Other than that, the same information that we're getting here in their October 10th project update, this is pretty much what they're going to say in the earnings. Like Net Zero One is on track, RNG on track, RNG is on track, a whole bunch of companies, a, a whole bunch of new airlines so on, signed on to take or pay contracts. Everything is going as, as expected. So I don't expect any any surprises from there. I just want to make sure that everything's good. And like I said in the you know previous earnings videos, just no delays. Now, what am I doing with my Jivo shares? How am I trading it? So Jivo is not the biggest position in my portfolio. And I kind of want to keep it that way because I mean, as much as I, I put out these videos about Jivo and all that stuff, like it still has yet to, to make serious money. And so I got to keep this I got to keep my position where it is. I haven't been adding any more shares recently. Like I'm saving all, all my money for companies like Google and Meta, which are way, way, way undervalued, but undervalued in my opinion. So yeah, I'm, I haven't putting, put, been putting money in the Jivo recently. Uh, however, I said this in previous videos that if Jivo puts out some good numbers, uh, this earning, this next earnings next week, I will probably have to start buying more shares, but we'll see what happens. Not this Tuesday, but next Tuesday. So I'll be out of town next week, so there won't be a video right after the Jivo earnings. The earliest I'll be able to put out a video is that Friday. 
I'll put I'll post something on my Instagram right after the earrings just to give my initial take. I mean, you I mean, if you want to know what I sit, what I how I feel immediately, you can follow me at stock underscore overflow on Instagram. Uh, the I mean, the link is in the description. Uh, but otherwise, look for a video that Friday. But anyways, take care. Have a great day and eat your vegetables.